In this video, we're going to learn about uh, setting up environment for our uh, Lightning Web Component project development. So in the previous video, we talked about, uh, you know, we, we talked about uh, the partner management app, which we are about to build using Lightning Web Components framework. And this is the, you know, the complete app that we are going to build from the scratch, uh, as you can see. So this is the landing page uh, and you have an option to choose different uh, channel partners, marketing partners, social partners, technology partners, etc. And then each partner uh, will have uh, a primary point of contact. And then when you click on a particular particular partner, uh, you get more details about that partner. And also you get a chance to see the, the location of the particular location of the primary point of contact uh, and also reviews from the sales team that already worked with you know the partners the type of uh, work that they did the, the quality of work delivered by the marketing partners or you know the channel partners etc you can just see it right here so to build this uh, we are going to set up the environment and also we discussed uh, we're not going to install any tools isn't it instead we will we will start with uh, uh, Salesforce feature called new new beta feature called code builder so that helps us not to install any softwares instead we'll just directly set up an environment and then you know get started with our coding so that is what we're gonna see it in this video so you will be setting up a code builder environment you will set up a project and uh, you will connect an org against which the development right uh, will happen and also you will import code base what i have done is i've just set up a code base for our uh, partner management app already in uh, github yeah? and we will just see how we can download the code from github and then start you know working on so before we move forward so this is the environment you will have a code builder org you will have a development org <clears throat> so this is the org in which i'm gonna install the code builder app exchange product and this is the org against which you know um, we are going to do the development this complete app partner management app will be developed right uh, in this in this org so well, let's go and then see how we can set this up so let me close this one yeah. so this is the you know this is the code base so you have the salesforce project you know the entire salesforce project right here so this code base contains uh, the objects needed for us to build um, the partner management app it also contains uh, it also contains um, uh, class files that are needed for that are needed to set up you know the data and uh, it will also you know have uh, the lightning web component uh, skeleton yeah the, the just the skeleton so there is no code in it we'll be developing the code so you will have this you know entire project right here so let's first take the project from uh, you know from this from this uh, github and then set it up in a code builder environment so the first thing is we need to have this code builder uh, app exchange product installed so i'm in this or curious raccoon right uh, let me just log into curious raccoon first all right so i'm in this uh, code builder org called curious raccoon so this is the this is the org which i'm going to use to install the code builder so that i can set up an environment and then connect to this environment creative unicorn and you know get my development started so that's the that's the idea so how did i get this code builder installed very simple all you have to do is right you have to just go and then uh, find this product from app exchange so in app exchange uh, you can just search for code builder it is in beta version now so search for code builder you will see a product from salesforce you can just see it right here so let it load so you can just get this product and then install you know get this product to you know to get this package to install right on your org so when you click on get it now you will be redirected to login uh, login.salesforce.com where you can just punch in the username and password of the org where you wanted this code builder right uh, code builder package to get installed so since it is already installed in my org i don't have to do that but in your case if you're doing it for the very first time just ensure that click on get it now and then get this get this uh, package installed right so once this is done the next step is 
we have to uh, we have to connect to the org we have to you know create an environment and connect and connect to the uh, development org uh, so we'll just click on get started and you have two options you know new project and import from github in our case uh, i already have uh, already have uh, the code in github this is what i wanted to you know download into that uh, environment that is about to you know about to set up so this is this is having you know a piece of code for us to get started so let me just click on this import from github so right here it is asking for github url let me go to my github repository and if i go to code and then i do have uh, the github url let me copy that let me go back here let me just put it right here so it is trying to authenticate in my case this repository this repository is a private repository so certainly i need to authorize so in a, in our typical uh, typical um, projects right salesforce projects we cannot we don't keep our source control base right open or public right so it will certainly be private and that's that's demonstrate that right i just made it uh, made it you know private so that you will have an additional step to authorize uh, you know with github if it is a public repository you will not go through this step you can just you know simply punch in the url and then click on next and then move forward Right. So since this is a private repository, I have to authorize myself uh, and then, you know, connect to the GitHub to get this, uh, get this code downloaded. Let's click on authorized with the GitHub. So it's trying to authorize. It will take you to the, you know, it will take you to the login page of GitHub and then, you know, and then you can just punch in your password to get yourself authorized. Uh, in my case, it is it is trying it is reusing my my previous session so that you know I didn't get that login page. But in your case, if you are doing it for the very first time, you will be taken again to the GitHub login page and then you just have to punch in your password, GitHub password. That's all it is. So once that is done, you will just get a tick mark to inch to to say that you know you are connected to this GitHub or you are you can able to access or Salesforce can able to access you know code from this GitHub repository. Now let's click on next and this is where you know I need to this is where I can connect to an org against which I want to do the development. So we decided to develop against this org right uh, create your unicorn. So let's go here. Let's go ahead and then click on this connect a development org. I'll be taken to login.salesforce.com and this is the you know the username reader.vm or creative unicorn. I do have this right here. You click. Yeah, you can just log in. Of course, I just wanted to enable access. So now two things, right? So now we know that we can have code builder in one environment and then I can have another environment right against which I can do the development. So it is not necessarily that both the environments need to be same or both the orgs need to be same. Okay, so that's the key point to or a key takeaway from here. So now, of course, you know, I just got this org connected. Perfect. My step two is completed. Let me give a friendly name to call this. Um, to call this development org. I'm just going to say it is uh, uh, PRM dev org. Let's say create. Now it is time, you know, Salesforce is trying to set up an environment for me. So what Salesforce will do is right when it creates an environment and uh, it will ensure that all the required softwares for lightning web component development or for source driven development, right? Like your Microsoft VS code, Salesforce code extension, you know, uh, VS code extension, uh, Salesforce CLI, Node, Java, whatever is needed for you to kickstart with your development, everything will be available in this environment that is about to get created. And when the environment is created, you will get this SFTX project, this entire code base, you know, directly copied from GitHub into this environment so that you can start from coding, you know, right away. Let's wait for this environment to get created. Then I'll just walk you through, you know, the code that has been downloaded from GitHub and what we can do as a, as you know, as a, as a next step. Yeah, typically it takes, you know, a minute or two for, uh, for creating this environment. Once this is done, you will get a launch button. So let's click on launch. While this is launching, right, since this is in beta, uh, you have, uh, you have maximum 20 hours to use this, you know, environment that has been created for you. Either 20 hours, you know, 20 hours of usage or you know 30 days from the date you know you created this environment whichever comes earlier whichever is comes earlier right uh, the, the the environment gets purged 
yeah so if you are if i use this environment continuously or if i use this environment for 20 hours right uh, in this in five days then on the sixth day i won't see this environment this environment will not be you know usable for me or if i don't use this at all you know i keep it uh, as is for 30 days so the very next day you know you will not see this environment right available for you so it's in beta so that's all this limitations and constraints are right now you know in this beta version we will see what new enhancements that that you know salesforce is going to uh, open up when when this version right it is made when this version is made publicly available so yeah now the code builder uh, uh, code builder or the environment is, is is starting up let's wait for the environment to get started Perfect. As you can see, a new project has been, a new environment has been set up for us. It says endive find uda So this is the, you know, the exact code that got downloaded from the GitHub. So you can just see, uh, these are the scripts that I have, uh, scripts, you know, available. And uh, you can find uh, components. For example, I do have, I just open like web comp. I do see components, I do see objects. So the entire metadata, you know, it got downloaded from the GitHub, right? So now, uh, what we can do is, right, we can deploy this components, you know, into the development org, which is, which is this, right? Because this is the development org that we connected, isn't it? So we'll, we'll just see that how we can deploy this components in the next video. For now, our focus, you know, is to set up the environment, isn't it? So that we have just accomplished. So what did we do? We just, uh, you know, we just uh, get this code builder beta version, you know, a package installed from App Exchange, right? Once that is done, we were able to download the code from GitHub. Number two, number three, when you download, you can just set up the environment against which you wanted to do the development. So that also we did while we while we you know uh, while we import the project from github right and as you can see when i click on launch i see the code downloaded from github for me to get started with the coding right so in the next video we will just see how to deploy the code from here you know uh, to the development org and then get started with building more components deployment all such things